Hi everyone, welcome to Smart Engineering Academy. Yeah, here I am continuing with continuing with advanced surveying. Okay, that is the module four that is photogrammetry. So let us know a basic thing. What is photogrammetry? So this is, is you know surveying, right? So what is surveying? Art of determining the points on the ground surface, right? Okay. So I'll just give an example. So in surveying, normally what you'll do, you'll do the measurements. Okay. If I take some plot, you'll do the measurements. How will you do the measurements? You'll do the measurements either with the help of chain, tape. Okay. Some of the levels like auto level, dumpy level, total sections, etc. Okay. These are the just basic types of surveying. So in photogrammetry, it comes under advanced surveying. Okay. What is the difference? The difference is. In the photogrammetry, the basic thing I can tell you here is the measurement of plotting is done without a physical contact or without touching the field. So normally, during the measurements, with the help of chain or tape or some levels, what you'll do, you'll come to the field. You'll have a physical contact. You'll stand here and you'll do all the traces. You'll do all the measurements. But in case of photogrammetry, you're not supposed to come in contact with the field without having contact with the field. You'll you're going to measure the distances or in the fields. So the photogrammetry is a science, an art of obtaining accurate measurements. Yeah. And art of obtaining in the photogrammetry will get accurate measurements. In case of chain, we'll have some errors. In case of tape, we'll have some errors. In case of levels, we'll have some errors like veneers, errors due to veneers, due to not holding it the straight, all these things you had learned in the surveying one. But in case of advanced surveying in the photogrammetry while measuring the field, we'll get accurate measurements. Okay, so I'll just tell you the definition. Photogrammetry is a science. And art of determining accurate measurements by using photographs for various purposes, such as for the construction, topo topographic maps, and the preparation of composite pictures. I'll just show you with the 3D images. See, this is how the photographic image is taken. Okay, what happens? The camera is fitted for this helicopter, right? The camera is fitted, and the image is taken. After taking the images, the images is copied to the computer system basically. After that, all the measurements can be taken automatically just with the help of the images which has been taken. Okay, that is the photo. That is the speciality of photogrammetry. The main thing is coming to the field without having physical contact or without touching the field, without entering inside the field. We are going to take a measurement. That is the one thing. The second thing is accurate measurements. We are going to get over here. So what we are seeing here is aerial photogrammetry. And one more thing I will show you. This is terrestrial photogrammetry. Terrestrial means a camera is present here. You can see a surveyor is standing here and is standing upon some elevated area so that he can get all the images, right? So you can see some heap here. This is the elevated area and from here, from here he is going to take the images or pictures of this place. Okay. Images of picture of this place. Then see you can see then it the data which is obtained is saved to the computer with the help of this all the images we can get. I mean all the dimensions of the images can be can can be taken with the accurate measurements. So this is the basic thing of photogrammetry without, ha without having the contact with the field, the images is taken and the surveying is done without entering the field or without in contact with the field. Okay. That is what we call as advanced surveying. The accurate measurements we are going to get here, accurate measurements. So this is how the technology has been improved. So this is aerial photogrammetry from where the images is taken. 
so aerial the aerial photogrammetry is a branch of photogrammetry wherein photographs are taken by a camera mounted in the aircraft flying over the area yeah then second one is terrestrial photogrammetry it is also a branch of photogrammetry wherein photographs are taken from a fixed point or a near to the ground in order to get the accurate measurements the uh, images is taken from some elevated area that is what we can call it as terrestrial photogrammetry this is all about the basic concepts regarding photogrammetry so the now introduction so what is photogrammetry go through the definition science of accurate measurements by using photographs okay by just by taking the photographs we'll get a accurate measurements again i am telling you without entering the field or without having physical contact with the field for this purposes such as construction of planimetric topographical maps preparation of composite picture of the ground the photographs are taken either from air if it is taken from air then it is called as aerial photogrammetry in aerial photogrammetry the camera is fitted to the aircraft and from the station it is called as from any station if you are taking it is called as terrestrial photogrammetry okay this is again it is been shown here just go through the definition terrestrial and aerial photogrammetry so we'll come across with the definitions like how the images are taken how the images is formed and everything so first of all definitions camera axis camera axis is a line passing through the center of camera okay lens perpendicular to both camera plate and picture plate so what you can see here is this one i just change the color yeah this is camera plate okay camera plate and what about this this is picture plane okay this is a camera plate and this is picture plane this is taken in terms of negative and picture plate it is taken in terms of positive i'll explain you everything in detail so the camera axis is a line passing through the center of camera see this line passing through the center of camera lens perpen perpendicular to both camera plates and picture plates so this is camera plate what you can see here is camera plate and this is picture plate so what is camera axis mean the line passing through the center of the camera plate and picture and picture plate and it is perpendicular to both see it is perpendicular to camera plate as well as picture plate right so this is how we cancel this the line what i had written here this is red line this is called as camera axis it is perpendicular to both these plates and it's passing through the center of these plates that is first definition so the next one is picture plane so what is picture plane yeah picture plane is perpendicular to the camera axis to a focal distance in front of the lens is represented in terms of positive contact point i had represented in terms of positive positive contact point contact point and this is picture plane okay this is the place where the image is going to form this is the place where camera camera plate because from here the focusing is done the image is getting formed see you can see the image here some images is present here this image is going to get formed on the camera plate that is picture plane focal length focal length is a perpendicular distance yeah focal length is a perpendicular distance from the center of the camera lens to either of the picture plane of the camera plate so focal length means from here to here the distance from here to here this is focal length it is a perpendicular distance you can see it is a i am just drawing here this is a perpendicular distance from the center of the camera lens either of the picture plane okay this length what you can call it as focal length this length from here to up to here this is called as focal length next one is principal point principal point it is defined as a intersection of camera camera axis with either the plane with either the picture plane or camera plate so you can see here it is a intersection of camera axis as well as picture plane this is called as principal point okay very easy things 
फ्लाइंग हाइट फ्लाइंग हाइट मीन्स या जस्ट मिनट फ्लाइंग हाइट इज द एलिवेशन ऑफ एक्सपोजर स्टेशन एबो द सी लेवल और ए सेलेक्टेड डाटम सपोज Flying height means I'll just take it as a station. Okay, I'll just show with this figure only. Yeah, we'll take some datum over here. We'll take some datum over here. From this height, okay, this height, what we can call it as flying height from the station. This is a station point. St from the station point, either if I am taking this as a datum, from datum to the station point can be called as Flying height. Either you can take datum or you can consider some mean sea level also. Not an issue. Yeah. Suppose if this is my measuring station, if this is my measuring station, and if I am taking somewhere here, you just assume this is the plot where I am going to take a photograph, right? From here, the flying height is. If I am taking this is one height. If I am considering some mean sea level. From here, if it is mean sea level or datum, okay. this height can be called as flying height okay just imagine the things then you'll the things will be clear better clearer to you so fiducial mark fiducial mark is nothing but a reference mark you can see yeah just imagine that this is the this is the point where image is going to form okay this is the plane this is the plane where image forms okay these are some of the marks fiducial marks it is called as fiducial marks is nothing but a reference marks okay nothing but a reference marks it it may either it may be two or three or four like that not an issue it is just a reference mark with the photographic emulsion in a camera image plant plane to provide a reference lines for the plate measure of the ima images if you are for the measurement of images measurement of images it acts some refer it acts as some reference points so that if you are going to measure some pictures or image paths that is if you want to measure some some image paths then ultimately this is the place where the images is go image is going to get formed so these are the reference to make the images form upon this camera lens okay so some of the major from of the fiducial marks are nothing but some of the reference points are made you so that image can be formed upon this very easily okay we'll go through the definition it is one or two or three or four mark located in contact with the photographic em emulsion in a camera image plane to provide a reference line or the lines for the plate measurement of the image next is per perspective lens perspective lens means it is a perspective center of a focal point of a origin and termination of bundles of perspective rays so this is a image sensor and this is a object okay this is a perspective perspective center this is the point where this both the things are coinciding this is called as perspective center so then what is nodal point this is little important point okay i'll just read out nodal point is either two points on the optical lens of a lens or a system of lens so located that when all object distances are measured from one point of all image distances are measured from other day satisfy the same length i'll just tell you one relation that is this image should satisfy 1 by u plus 1 by v which is equal to 1 by f okay this relationship will be much clearer to you while we are solving some problems i don't want to pull out some times okay just go through the definition this relation relation will be very much clearer or familiar to you while solving the problem okay so what what is vertical photograph so there are three types of photographs one is i'll just show you yeah one is oblique vertical oblique and tilted so what is the difference between these three i'll just tell you what is vertical photograph means it is nothing but aerial photograph made with the camera axis coinciding with the direction of gravity it is nothing but it is a top view okay i'll just give an example from your smartphone you are opening a google map right 
so what is the images you are going to get formed it is a top view okay that is what we call it as vertical photograph it is also called as aerial photograph because it is taken from some helicopters so the camera is fitted to the bottom of the helicopters and the images will be taken from that so it is exactly vertical photograph that is nothing but in a simple word i can tell is it is a top view but what happens is oblique photograph is oblique photograph is a aerial photograph taken with the camera axis directed intentionally between horizontal and vertical it is not exactly taken from the top it is not a top view okay it is a combination of horizontal and vertical you can see the type of image you can make out the difference see you can see it is exactly taken from the top and what you can see here is the top view but in case it is happening you can see it is not taken either exactly from the top view it is taken little horizontal and vertically so this is called this type of photograph is called as oblique photograph these are all the different types of photographs that we can take to get suppose if you want to calculate the image yeah just a minute if you want to calculate the image above with reference to the top view then this is fine with reference to the horizontal and vertical this is fine then what do you mean by tilted photograph see this is completely tilted you can see here it is a tilted photograph or a aerial photograph made with the camera axis unintentionally tilted by the vertical by a small amount see you can see the building images over there even though it is taken it is tilted okay so these are the type different types of photographs okay these are the basic things so from the in the next video i'm continuing with this where we can see some of the vertical photographs and some of the cases like how to find the things okay so that's all for thank you and all